Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today we're going to do a video about artifacts. What should you keep? What should you sell? How do you sort them to find those different kind of nuances around good stuff, bad stuff, and all that type of good stuff? Um, so what I've done, I've been farming um, some dragon, some fire knight, and some spider. Uh, so you can see I've got my red dots ready to go. Um, what I'm going to show you first is kind of some filters. So I'm going to turn just new off, let them filter into my main sets. And then you can see how I actually use the filters to decide what stuff to keep. Um, just as a quick kind of before I do that, because uh, I'm at super end game, when I've got my new stuff like this, I'm pretty much looking for six star. I'm looking for speed on speed sets. And kind of for me, if I'm not finding that here, I sell it. That's kind of where I've got to on speed sets. And I would literally take my speed sets with speed on it and just see if I hit speed a couple of times. If I don't, then I'm probably selling it. That's like super end game though. So I'm, I'm not going to kind of dwell on super end game. But that, see that didn't hit speed there. This piece now is rubbish. So that is gone. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Anything here instantly as, as end game is gone gone definitely gone terrible set um gone gone check this all of this is just gonna be bad anyway um i won't let that filter in because this set's so terrible okay so i'm gonna let it filter in though to normal gear yeah and what i do so i was showing someone this the other day and he said actually this is just so helpful in terms of how i can get some priorities around my gear so the first thing we're going to do to find the bad gear is get the, the bottom three rows. Bottom three rows of gear, look for flat stat HP, flat stat attack, and flat stat defense. Okay, so you can see all of this is new gear that came in yesterday. Um, apart from these bits, which I've rolled up, the reason why these have stayed is because they had a speed substat and I rolled some speed. That's the only reason they're still here. And that's okay, because they'll be good for your arena teams when you want someone just to go fast and you don't care so much about the stats. You see here, all of these, maybe this one's not even good enough to keep. Um, but yeah, the rest of them, it's probably not. But for you guys, a single roll on speed on gloves, it's probably good enough. So that's why they're still there. All of these, instant sell, guys. Instantly sold. Flat stat, main stat on any of these items which is flat attack, flat defense, or flat uh, HP, instantly gone. 19 items straight in the bin. That's the easy one. The next thing I do is I look at gloves, and I look for attack percentage gloves. Now, if you look on my whole account, equipped, I've got two, three, basically no one wearing these gloves. Okay, the only place where an attack percentage glove is the preference is on a bomb champ. So someone like uh, Lord Shazar, someone like, um, I guess, War Mother. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any bomb comps myself. I don't really have bomb champs so much. So this would be the only place you'd use these. And because of that, I basically I keep one set back in case I pull that bomb champ. But anything like this, just gone straight away. Clears out my inventory. Uh, that's another one I'm keeping in case I get a bomb champ. So those are gone. Okay, so that's like the easy kind of step gone. Now, the next thing I do is these top three where you get more gear and it's easier to find uh, gear because, the, and the reason I say that is the top three always have the same main stat. So you can never roll a bad main stat on a weapon, a helm, or a shield. Okay, so the top three, the main stat's fixed, which means it's always easier to find a, a blend of substats you want. Whereas the bottom three have got several options for main stat, some of which you've just seen are completely trash. So what you want to be doing is looking for the good main stat first. That's the priority. Good main stat. And then you hope that you get some good substats like speed and crit rate. Yeah. If so so there's more gloves that you will keep with bad substats than there is weapons, helms and shields. That's fact. So what I do on these top ones is I look for combinations of bad substats. 
So the top one's the main stats fixed. It's the substats we care about. So what we're saying is if we get, say, flat HP and, and resistance on a piece of gear, I will then go in and just see what are the other substats that are come along with those. These two are two of the worst substats you can get. So I will um, go through and I'd say, well, what other substats are rolling with these two bad ones? And with this one here on a crit piece of gear, I've got speed and defense. Chances are I'm never going to need a piece of gear that rolls these ones. Even if this rolls quad speed, this piece of gear does not suit this gear set. It's gone. So for an accuracy set, we've got a big roll on speed and some crit damage. Again, it's, it's, although it's a six star legendary piece, I guess, I guess maybe I would want to roll that to see if I got a quad roll speed. But then you're wasting a lot of silver to try and find, you know, the, the golden goose to try and find the, the unicorn. And even if you find it, there's a good chance you're not using it. So that one, gone. Next new piece, gone. You see, see how quickly I'm able to find pieces that I don't want by looking at two bad substats. And if you're wondering, well, what's he looking for in the other, other main stats? I am looking for a blend of speed, crit rate. Uh, I'm looking for speed, crit rate, defense percentage, HP percentage, accuracy, um, crit damage. That's my main ones. Um, and in, in order, it's kind of like speed and accuracy are the two top. Crit rate alongside that is kind of like top three. And then after that, it's like a blend of the others. If you don't get one of those top three, you're probably going to sell the gear um, if you're kind of moving on to end game. So see here, we've got, again, this doesn't have any offensive stats. It's got my speed and accuracy. So again, we'd probably roll that one to sell the ones we're going to get rid of. We'd probably roll that and see if we just hit uh, speed or accuracy a number of times. Even if I do, for my level of gear, I don't know that I'd use it. So hit resistance, no thanks, that's gone. Okay, so that's that kind of blend of, of pieces done. What I then do is I take HP off the mix and I throw in flat attack. And let's see another bunch of rubbish that's come up. See, all of these bad except the speed. And just, just so that you're probably thinking, well, speed and crit damage is good. The main aim for anyone who does damage in this game is to try and push them into crit damage gloves. That's your aim. Now, early game, you might not be able to do that. But as you get further into the game, you can do that. And the way you do it is by rolling crit rate on all of these items. Ideally, speed and crit rate on all of these items. And boots and chest. And if you do that... And it sounds like, well, it's impossible. It's not impossible. You actually will do it as you get through the game regularly. So you get crit rate on all of these pieces, which means that you can then put crit damage on these gloves. So that's why I'm less fussed about seeing crit damage here. If that was crit rate, this piece becomes pretty valuable, but it's not. So that's straight gone, especially it's because it's in a set that I don't care much about. Toxic set, again, bad. That one I've kept, see, because it's got speed and crit rate. Two of the most valuable stats. Okay, so we get rid of those two. I do the same again now. I flick off attack and I bring in defense. So you see the method here. The three worst substats with the worst substat. Um, straight gone, awful. Let's just check the pieces I kept. Speed and crit rate. Speed rolled with defend uh, with hp that's because immunity set is probably the hardest set to come by uh, and one of the most end game sets in the game that's why that's kept this one double speed and crit rate see that so next one then so resist is kind of covered next one we would do is take the resist off and just try combinations of two of the flat stats together okay so I've kind of covered off the most obvious bad pieces of gear. Next thing I'll do is uh, I'll actually put it all on and I'll visually now just look. So I'm looking for sets that I think are good. Should I have more pieces in those sets? So life set, basically there's a direct upgrade to that, which is a mortal set. 
So life sets good early on, but pretty soon becomes bad. Uh, offense, exactly the same. Offense is good early on, but cruel set just completely wipes it out. Defense set is the only way you can build defense. So it's good to have a couple of sets of this. So you can see I've got a new piece here. Speed and crit rate, two of the best stats together. Even on defensive gear, this is brilliant. So that's a keeper. Uh, let's check my new speed gear then. So we've got crit rate, crit damage, and HP. If this does not roll into crit rate, based on my rule that I said earlier, then for my level of account, it's going to be gone. For most levels of account, though, this is a good solid piece that could go on a cold heart, a raw guard, anyone who's going to nuke for you. Kind of got your crit rate and crit damage coming at the same time. That's nice. Kind of want one roll in crit rate, though, ideally. So this is now okay. That's a keeper. Uh, here we've got crit rate and accuracy, two very good main stats. So that's a keeper. Um, crit damage and accuracy though is not. See the way I flipped it around? Crit rate, positive. Crit damage, not so positive. Um, and ideally what you're looking for, so same again, for my level of account. But ideally what you're looking for is speed on your speed gear. So this one here, um, for my level of account, I wouldn't be keeping this. But for most people, you'd be thinking... If I can roll this into crit rate and crit damage, that's actually a very nice piece. Um, HP with, with HP percentage, straight gone. Crit damage and resistance, straight gone. So even in a good set, those kind of sub-optimal sub, um, stats don't stay. So we get into the, the kind of gloves, chest, boots territory now. So we've got defense gloves, which is probably the most premium sort of gloves that you can get. With a speed roll, with accuracy roll. This stinks of clan boss. Okay, so I would roll this up. This is going to be a keeper anyway. But what you're hoping for is either rolls, multiple rolls in speed or multiple rolls in accuracy. So they're the two premium stats here. Um, if, it, if it flips between the two, great. If it rolled like multiple rolls in resistance, it becomes a very niche set. Resistance is only really used at the moment in... Um, so that's quite nice. Only really used for... A high, high resistance geared uh, arena champ or something like a spider tank. So it's just not used a lot. So we've got another one here that I've, not, I've kept. HP percentage with crit rate, with accuracy. Good main stat. Two great substats. Definite keeper. Uh, let's keep looking for new gear. New gear here. Speed with crit damage. I want this to roll into speed. If this rolls into speed, it's a keeper. If it rolls double crit damage... It's not, it's not bad. They're both great main stats, uh, substats I mean, but this is where I want the, the rolls to go because this is not as strong as this in terms of substats. Brilliant. So double roll speed, that's now a keeper. Nice piece of gear. Um, so we've got here, this is a good one to call out on gloves. So let's look at gloves separately for a second. Now, as I said earlier, crit damage is like an... A, a, more of an end game build. So you want crit damage, but ideally what you want is a substat to go along with it with crit rate. Yeah, so see how quickly they slim down. Crit rate or speed. If you can get both together, then they're kind of like godlike gloves. So, but my preference is crit rate. And if I got it like this with two bad substats like this, what I actually do is roll to see if I hit crit rate. If I don't hit crit rate here, and because I've got multiple crit damage gloves, these will be gone. So I need that to be there. It's not. So for me, they're gone. Because it's rolling into those bad other substats. We've got another example here. This is, these are three fairly premium substats with a very high roll on the first roll of crit rate. If this rolls crit rate, then these would be some of my best gloves. Even in a, an offset. I don't need it to be a set bonus for these to be good. So 14% crit rate on a set of crit damage gloves, which are six star, is massive. This is a really good piece. Go again. Go again. <laughs> We're going to take these ones up to 12 because I get excited when I see numbers like this. This is like your best find. If you get it in a set that actually makes sense as well, then it's the eureka moment. You know, if you get it in your um, crit damage gear, in your savage gear, um, in speed gear, then this is like insanely good go on ah. anyway still good still very good even for my level of account that's brilliant so that's what i'm looking for in gloves 
If you flip it round and you've got crit rate gloves, then you're looking for the opposite. You're looking for crit damage to go alongside it. So you see I've kept these because they've got speed and crit damage on them. Speed and crit damage. Crit damage, accuracy. Crit damage, double roll. Speed, crit damage. Crit damage, attack percentage. Attack percentage is like a, a weak version. Um, so these ones I've rolled up to 16 a while ago. If I got these now and they did this, they probably would be sold. Triple crit damage on, on crit rate gloves, you see? So we're looking for like the reverse. We're looking for the reverse set of stats. And something like boots, primary, 99.5% of your champs are going to be wearing speed boots. So you want speed as your main stat. And then to find your premium ones, you want to be looking for a blend of the good stats. Crit rate, um, crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage, yeah? Um, or maybe you want accuracy on there for clan boss. So maybe you're going accuracy and defense percentage because this is a clan boss champion. So you're trying to make them land their debuffs and be tanky with good speed. That then becomes your premium. This is a, a new set of boots for me in stun set with three premium substats and it's six star. So what I'd be looking for here is please don't roll this because that's the bad stat. Please roll this or this is kind of what I'm hoping for. Because these are the two most premium substats that I've got available. So it's rolled okay. They're, they're still good boots. Um, so the last thing I want to do then is just talk to you through sets. So let's get off of that. So which sets do I care about? Life set, low... Um, like low priority now offense low priority defense good for building up defense surprisingly enough it's the only place where you can get additional defense from sets so i actually quite like defense set speed will be on 95 percent of your champs if you can get it so you can see i've got tons of it i've got tons of options on speed critical rate good for boosting crit um falls off the later you get into the game Crit damage is a good damage boost, but uh, again, it actually starts to fall off a little bit later game. Uh, but if you're just trying to boost damage on like a, a cold heart or a raw guard and you can get some good substats, you still want good substats here. If you've got bad substats, you still sell the gear. So have I got any fresh gear here? I've got two chests. Attack percentage is a really good main stat for damage dealer if they're in something like the arena. The substats have not rolled brilliantly, which is probably why it's sitting there unrolled. Probably I'll end up selling that. Um, defense percentage with attack, resist, HP. So it's just it's straight gone. It's, there's not enough of an offensive build in that for me to keep it. Accuracy is a good set to build your accuracy levels up. Accuracy is the most important stubs, um, stat to build to get you to the right place to be able to land your debuffs. I don't normally keep resistance chests in accuracy sets. Kind of like counterintuitive, really. I've got like one. Resistance gear is okay just for that niche build. Lifesteal. Most people will use lifesteal on like 75% of their champs until they get into late game. Fury set is awful. Unless these are insane pieces of gear. You see, I've kept this one because it's high roll, crit damage, Double roll speed. Nothing else, unless it's insane, is being kept in this set. Because it's a terrible set. Days. You probably want like one or two sets of this maximum. So you keep your best gear that you've got. The rest of it is gone. Frost. You might want a couple of sets of this for arena. Currently it's not massively in the meta. Frost set sits really well on tanks that can provoke. That's the, that's the best spot. So you kind of want defensive stats. You want some speed. Um, frenzy, again, pretty niche. Good to have one or two sets. Regeneration, I don't use it ever. So straight gone. Im immunity set is the most end game set in the game for arena. So you want to keep yourself as much of this as you can. You kind of want to be rolling speed, crit, crit damage on that set. Shield set, one of the best early game sets to keep you alive. So you kind of want a couple of sets of that. Relentless for me is 
it's kind of classed as very end game gear. I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, I don't have it on many champions at all. I will not keep letting the set just for the sake of it. Like I'm sure a lot of you do. I would sell it and make room in your inventory if it's not good gear. Savage set is another very end game piece uh, set. Because it's a damage dealing set, you kind of want to be rolling crit, crit damage on the, the pieces and speed. So you see the ones that I've kept. Um, I've all got those kind of stats. Look at this piece here. If that was a 6 star, that would be rolled up to 16 straight away. Um, crit damage. Even the ones with crit damage gloves with bad substats, I've kept because it's such a good set. Um, and it's such a useful set to keep. So that's probably gone for me. That's gone for me. That's a keeper because of the, the main stat, because it's attack percentage, even though the substats are bad. That's the difference. You get a good set, you start thinking a bit more um, liberally ar around the substats. This set, again, it, unless it's a godlike piece, it's gone. So all of these pieces not rolled. Unless they were godlike, they're, they're, not, they're gone. This one's kept because brilliant substats. This one's kept because I've got a triple roll crit damage. Uh, this one's kept because I've got crit rate. Yeah? On crit damage gloves. Stun set, brilliant kind of mid game to late game set. Toxic, pretty much for me. I, I don't like this set at all. Straight gone. You might use it in an unkillable team to try and boost some damage um, of your damage dealers, like put them in poison gear. Avenging set, maybe keep one set around if it's good. I'm not a big fan of it either. Stalwart sets, probably uh, one of the more premium sets. You can see I've got a lot more stalwart than most. Uh, this is really useful in clan boss if you've got someone to keep you alive like in terms of healing cruel set as i said it was a direct upgrade on the attack set keep quite a bit of this immortal direct upset uh, upgrade on the life set keep a lot of this see i'm still looking for those good main uh, sub stats though that's why they're there and then all of the pvp sort of sets are so hard to farm sets that i only really prioritize the speed uh, and I've started to try and keep some of this new gear to see if I can get a set of it. I still have not got a set of this yet in all the time I've played Plat. So that is the way I manage gear. That's the way I try and cleanse it. I hope it's useful, guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anything more that I'm missing that you kind of really want to know about on gear, let me know and I'll try and make a second video of it. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you all later.